I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, not this past week, but the week before that, I took a week away from YouTube. We had some adoption stuff come up, nothing with Ben and Sarah, but we just had to kind of figure things out and sort things out. And it was kind of a stressful week, and so I decided to just um, take a step back from YouTube and just like sort everything out. And luckily everything got sorted out and everything, so then I picked back up with YouTube. So during that Saturday that I wasn't vlogging, I vlogged anyway. <laughs> and I just figured I might like post it later or something like that. So I had a little bit of that footage, and then this week, has been just super crazy. We are having our home study today. I'm gonna do a whole video on like the adoption process and everything, um, cause I've been getting a lot of requests for that. Um, but yeah, today we're having our home study. So it's just been a really busy week. So I filmed a little bit from this week and I figured I would just combine it with that Saturday footage that I took. And then last night when I was editing, I realized that I accidentally deleted the footage from this week. So the only footage I have is from that Saturday. <laughs> but it is some fun footage. I made a Dirty Dr. Pepper, which is like one of my favorite drinks to make during the summer. So I showed you guys how to make that. And then we went to the paint store and started picking out paint for the nursery. So it is some fun footage. So I'm just gonna post that. Um, I'm still gonna call it a bits of the week because it's been forever since I've done a bits of the week and I really want to share some of your guys' highlights from the last bits of the week video. So I will roll that Saturday footage and then I will meet you guys back here um, to show you a little bit of the nursery, like what it looks like right now, and then also to share um, a couple of your guys' highlights. So roll that footage. All right, so it is Memorial Day weekend. So for me, it is the start to summer. And I know that summer has started when I can have a dirty Dr. Pepper. So I'm gonna make my first dirty Dr. Pepper of the season, I'm really excited about it. So we're actually about to leave, so I put it in one of these glass jars. I think you're normally supposed to put water in it, but we're gonna be soda. <laughs> and then you're gonna take your Dr. Pepper. That's the sound of summer right there. Watch, this is also the sound of summer. Get real close. You hear all the fizzing? All right, so we have the whole can in there, lots of ice, it's important. And then you're gonna take half of the lime. I kind of like squeeze part of it in there, and then I squeeze a little bit of this one, and then I just kind of dump both of them in there. Why not? Why not? Then you're gonna take some coconut syrup. So not coconut cream, right? Not coconut cream, coconut syrup. And you might want to grab like a teaspoon or something like that, but I just kind of, it's about half of a tablespoon. And there you have the perfect Dirty Dr. Pepper. Victory. Summer has begun. Last summer I actually did a whole video on non-alcoholic summer entertaining drinks. This was one of them and then there were some more soda uh, concoctions. I will link that video down below if you want some fun summer drink ideas. So somebody uh, got us packages. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh okay. no! Yeah, we never got a package in our PO box. First oh, time getting packages. From Amazon. That's kind of cool. We've gotten lots of letters, but. Why is my hair so jabbed up? <laughs> that was a girl move. Yeah, you just totally did a girl oh, move. Yeah. Joe couldn't wait. It's exciting. <laughs> oh. Oh. That is so sweet. Is it from the same people? Similar. Yeah, it was. Oh, that's so nice. That's yeah, Andrea coming adoption. I really love following your story and seeing how excited you are. I thought. These would be perfect fit to start her bookshelf, The Harvey Family Adventures. Thanks, Harvey Family Adventures. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. That is so sweet. So they got us this, and then they got us this book. That is just so sweet of them. Yeah, we'll link them below. Yes, we will. Okay, so we went to the paint store and picked out paint colors, which was really exciting. I'm 
still undecisive. I'm still trying to figure it out. But last night we got the nursery um, cleared out because we got the bookshelf in the mail, we got the crib in the mail, we got the bassinet in the mail, and then we already had the stroller. So there's a lot of stuff that we <laughs> need to build this week. This is what the nursery looks like so far. Ta-da! <laughs> It doesn't look like a nursery yet, but it also doesn't look like a guest bedroom anymore. So it felt so nice to get the guest bed out of here. And then we had a bookshelf and a little desk right here. So we finally cleared out all of that. I am in love with this dresser, which I would show you, but I'm gonna wait for the nursery re reveal. This is just a little sneak peek of what the nursery looks like so far, but um, yeah, this is the paint color that we thought we were gonna go with. So these are all the paint swatches that I got um, that Saturday. This is Sherwin-Williams Mint Condition. I painted it and then I was worried that like I did the wrong texture because I put it on with my fingers. So then I like tried to smudge it off so that I didn't mess up the texture. So that's why it's all ugly. Um, and then this color, it comes out really, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but this color is this color which is mint condition by Sherman Williams, but it's just two shades lighter. And so it's a very like minty green blue. I put up um, a paper towel so you can kind of see what it looks like with white. But I don't know if I like it. It's, it's almost there. It probably just looks white on camera. I'm gonna go down and pick up this color to see what that looks like. Um, this color is just a little bit more green than this color and it's a little bit more dirty looking, if that makes sense, which I kind of like, because I feel like this is a little too maybe pastel-y. And then Ariana had texted me Sherwin-Williams White Mint, I think it's called. So I'm gonna pick that up um, to see what that looks like on the wall. So it'll either be the Sherwin-Williams color um, in mint condition, just lighter, or the fleeting green color, or the white mint color. Um, I'm forcing myself to choose between those three colors <laughs> so that we can finally get this room painted. This is what the closet looks like right now, which is kind of like an organized, chaotic mess. So there's still a lot of work to be done. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys the nursery until it's done. So that was your last little sneak peek. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> So with that, it is highlight time where I'm gonna share a couple of your guys' highlights that you left um, on the last bits of the week. I have a lot of new subscribers, so hello, and thank you for subscribing. So my Friday video is my bits of the week video, which is just like little snippets of my week, and then I post it all <laughs> on Friday. So I thought it would be fun since I share with you guys my highlights from the week, things that just put a smile on my face, that it would be super fun for you guys to leave a comment on the Bits of the Week videos, letting me know what your highlight was from your week. Something that put a smile on your face, something that you're grateful for, um, and then at the end of every Bits of the Week video, I pick one or two of them to share from you guys, and I share it, so that is what I'm doing right now. So the first highlight that I'm gonna share is from Jenny Wilson, and she says, my highlight this week was the adoption of my twins. My husband and I brought them home two days after their first birthday, and now 16 months later, they are officially ours. After 12 years of infertility, we finally have our family. I just love hearing people's adoption stories, and I have loved how Ever since we have shared our adoption story, like I've had so many commenters and new subscribers that are in the adoption world, whether they are a birth mother or they have adopted or they were adopted. It has just been so amazing to hear so many wonderful adoption stories. Adoption, I'm gonna get choked up. Adoption is just such a blessing and I'm just so grateful for it. And I am just, I get so happy when I hear that people are able to grow their families through adoption because Without adoption, a lot of us would never be able to have families and it's just such a miracle and I just love hearing about it. And twins? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of somebody adopting twins before. That is just so amazing. I don't know how to say this username. I'm just gonna say bwashing33. <laughs> And she says, my highlight was celebrating my 20th wedding anniversary with my darling hubby. 20 years, that is just such an accomplishment. I can't believe that Joe and I are gonna be married for 11 years in August, which is crazy. But I just wanted to say happy anniversary and I hope that you guys had a really wonderful anniversary together. So that is gonna do it for this video.
video again leave a comment down below letting me know what your highlight was this week and I will share one or two of them in next week's video but yeah thank you for watching and subscribing and for all your support and I will see you guys in this Saturday vlog which will be up on Monday